is SJ holding a can candle for Petra? Um, I think the only candle in, in SJ's life is Petra. I think she's the light of the show. She's the light in SJ's life. And I think he's definitely dying to get back to her and get back with her. Um, this is obviously proving to be quite difficult because he has by now learned that she doesn't want him and doesn't want anything to do with him. But yeah, um, he definitely wants her back. I think she is the love of his life. So Jono's first impression of um, SJ was a super cool dude, well built, takes care of himself, but he comes from money, right? Jono doesn't really come from money, he's worked really hard for it. So I guess there's that standoffish kind of vibe between the two of them. How does Petra feel about SJ? She, she's a very pragmatic person. She lives by the book, which is sort of her downfall um, at times. But in this case, you know, in her narrative that she's created for herself and the life that she's built with Jono, there's no room for SJ because of everything that he represents. And SJ is essentially Petra's weakness. Her Achilles heel, as one would say. Yeah. <laughs> I think SJ feels that uh, Petra can do better. And by better, he means himself. <laughs> I think as Jono gets to, to understand and gets to know the prices a little better, I think he starts to feel that distance get a little bit bigger between you know, their wealth and, um, you know, Jono's upbringing. How does Esther feel about the wedding, uh, Jono and Petra's wedding? I think he is um, mortified by it. I don't think he's happy at all. Um, I don't, I feel as if he feels hopeless and like uh, useless. Like he's, there's nothing that he can do about it at this stage. Petra's made up her mind and he's not the type of guy to like, I think, force anything. So, um, yeah, he just feels kind of like this, like it's out of his control at this point and that there's nothing he can do about it.